Jalen Hurts. He comes in fourth in the league in passing this year. It's the Eagles and the Giants. And it's coming up next on EA Sports. From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Alongside my partner Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you take a look at this Giants ball club. We're in October now, so everything, everybody should be coming into form, shouldn't they? They really should, and what you have now is a full routine established about what you want to get done and full focus on the season. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Eagles, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes that actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us-against-the-world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season. Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The former number six overall pick of 2019, Daniel Jones, trots out to lead this New York Giants offense. Okay, I thought there was something to build on in last week's game by his performance. I thought he played fairly well overall. The, the numbers won't knock your socks off. Two touchdown passes and an interception. The bottom line, though, they lost. Yeah. How does he eliminate that one interception, continue to take care of the ball, and maybe increase the number of times he puts the ball in the end zone with a receiver? Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Offense. Umpire through the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the result. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. You look at this Eagle defense, currently number one in the NFL against the run. Most of their challenges have come in the passing game because against the run, they've been pretty darn good. Now you've got to figure out a way to slow down those receivers before they get downfield and maybe make a few more plays on the ball when it's in the air. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. Third and short, so didn't need much, but got a little extra on the backside. Nice run. Chewed up the yardage, didn't he? To me, that was offensive line with leverage, good blocking angles, taking on a stacked defensive front. And once they chopped that little hole in the beginning, he took it and rambled. And just the third play from scrimmage, wanted to avoid the three and out and did just that. Throwing Jones. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. They'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. That's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play with one of their first tests. Left side on a dime, and it looks like he's got it. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 29-yard line. A solid gain of 15 yards, and the sticks move. Now whistles here and a flag down. I think a giant Ball jumped early. Offense. Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe try to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. Singletary here running out of the gun. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 
15 carries, 67 yards. They've lost a bunch of games in a row now. They've got to start thinking a little bit differently, maybe a little bit outside of the box. Find other ways to move the football. I don't know if you're going to do it through the air or maybe change up how you establish your run game. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And a gain of five. Third and seven now. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. And you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. So Jones off. Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. Gano's kick is good. And the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. Even though they didn't find the end zone, they have to be pretty pleased with how they moved the ball on the ground because we know that that was one of their big goals in this game. And that really goes through the entire offense because when you're running the ball effectively, just about everyone's involved. It's not just the guy carrying the football. It's everyone blocking for him, both inside and on the perimeter. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Out come the Eagles for the first time, and the man in charge at quarterback in his fifth year now, Jalen Hurts. And there was a positive in last week's loss. No interceptions thrown by him. But he only threw one touchdown pass, and you know he wants that to improve. He might even consider that as part of the reason that they couldn't take the win last time out. I believe we'll see a more aggressive version of him this week whenever they're nearing the end zone. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 23 yards, the final tally. And yeah, we see the emphasis early here. Get your star receiver involved able to do it successfully not a bad start to begin with that's for sure and to me this play says our guy is better than your guys because you know a player of his stature he won't just be single covered all game long it's going to involve multiple people and right away they told the other team guess what he's just better first carry for kenneth gainwell and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards but no more than that second down from the 48-yard line, here's second down and seven. Now again, a run with Gainwell. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. If you start assessing what went wrong last week, Charles, and their loss, had nothing to do with the ground game. They ran it well. And you also have to say to yourself as a team, don't go away from what worked. That's not the reason the game was lost. Running the football over time. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. Brian Burns fly in there and dropping it for the sack. Hindsight is 2020, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Straight ahead, it's game well. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Hurts. Oh, the pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Dexter Lawrence able to record his fifth sack of the season. Now make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively, and not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. But they got to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback. Maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit, anything to try and slow that pressure down. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he is gonna have an Eagles first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. A defensive breakdown allows a pickup of 16 on fourth down. I remember in pregame, when we were talking to him on the field, and he took his gloves off and showed us his fingers, a few misshapen ones in there, <laughs> and now we know why, trying to catch those types of bullets. That was a dart. Yeah, even for a talented receiver, those are tough to hang on to. On first and ten, it's game well. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Second and five. 
Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. And he's going to go down. He sacked back at the 24. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure. And it's a loss of six. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play time. Well, I can tell you what. When he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. That's good for a first down. His second catch of the opening drive. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And they delivered there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up for the first and goal. They'll run here with Gainwell. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. That really sets them back. A loss of six. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they come up now, second and goal. Hurts sets up to throw it. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Able to get nine out of that pitch and catch. But now third and goal. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Shakes off the side. But now he's swallowed up and taken down. A nightmare on third and goal. He sacked and multiple players broke through the line to get him. Now Jake Elliott, earlier in his career, he beat these Giants with a 61-yarder. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will tie us at 3-3. So a return of serve, so to speak, here on the second drive of our game as they respond to that opening field goal with three of their own. I like that. Going a little tennis on well, me, I know huh? you. You like to mix it up I with like sports. They, yeah. they crack a forehand back out and they get a backhand. What was the, what was it, the return on? It was a backhand. I like a that really one. good backhand. With some nice top spin on the a little bit. bit. A little I bit. love it. Almost a mirror image when you really get down to it. I thought that was pretty good stuff. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Now Jones. Oh, what a read on the outside as it's intercepted. It's N'Kobe Dean with a pick. And that's a ball that he is going to want to keep his first career interception in the National Football League. And I love what teams do when that happens. You bring the ball to the sideline, the equipment guy grabs it, he puts a piece of tape on it, writes on it so that you know what it is, and then they tuck it away so that you can have it for later and put it on your mantle. Pretty good deal for him right there. Now he's eager to get back out on the field and get his second one. Well, the Eagles offense and their quarterback coming out for their second drive. And he continues to be a nightmare for teams to defend in the red zone. You see the graphic. He's second in the NFL in terms of rushing touchdowns by a quarterback. Here's Hurts to throw. Out to his left. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Throwing his hurts. That is caught at the 7. Touchdown! Kenneth Gainwell, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Eagles have taken the lead. 
Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory. Excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They go right back to Singletary. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and nine. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. So here are the Eagles to take over. They fell last week to Cleveland, but they're on top here as they start this drive first and ten. Here's a quick throw caught by Smith. And he is going to lose yardage here. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They run behind center with Gainwell. And oh, he spins past him and into space. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to throw here. Caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith, 64 yards. And the Eagles have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. Well, sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. And that's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? <laughs> just go long, Backyard. man. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. Elliott good on the extra point. And the lead is now 17-3. So the drive there, they went 80 yards in three plays. And it was finished off by a touchdown from Devontae Smith. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. 
And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. Here's a second and three now from the 33. Looking to throw. Jones. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Well, this defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. They'll try and run for this with Singletary. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on the punt. Forty-three yards on the punt, seven-yard return, and it will be Eagles football first and ten. It's Devontae Smith and the Eagles ready to go on offense. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day. Because otherwise, he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. 52 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. From the gun, it's Hurts. Got his man, it's game well. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Just need a yard here, second and one. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Flushed out right. Oh, fighting off the defender. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. They'll look to throw now on first down. And this one complete to Smith. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give them a short yardage situation here for second down. Back to throw. Toward the sideline. He will have the first down. Good catch. He was able to keep the feet in bounds. They'll drop to throw. Steps up. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts over the middle complete. It's Campbell. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Throwing from the gun. It's Hurts. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that, and we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. And this will be a Giants first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Here's Jones. A final shot before break. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 
So we've reached halftime here, and it's our visitors, the Eagles, leading this one. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as some of the division races starting to take shape. As we look around the NFL here in week number seven, we get things started with a good one in the NFC. Seattle traveling down south to take on Atlanta at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And it's the Seahawks who are out in front in the second quarter. The Seahawks locked in a tight one, but this is a game you feel they've got to have. From there, we head north to Minnesota. Check on the Vikings at home at U.S. Bank Stadium. And they trail the visiting Lions in that one. Two touchdown passes there for Jared Goff. Lastly, let's get up to Buffalo to check on the Bills. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Keon Coleman, a touchdown reception. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts ready to take over once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Out of the gun now on third down. Oh, it's complete. A diving grab there by Brown. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. to gain well. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 72 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. Quick slant here to Smith. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. They'll look to throw. He's got Smith here. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. And they'll try and run for it with Gainwell. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. Now back to throw. He's into the secondary. Touchdown, Eagles! Devontae Smith, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. 
And the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. So another touchdown there. And even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Elliott good with a PAT. And the lead is now 24. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was finished off by a touchdown from Devontae Smith. And he returns this to the 22. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's complete to Slayton. It's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. A give up the middle to Singletary. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Single Terry again. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw. Jones. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he will get this to the midfield strike, but that's not going to be enough. He's a few yards short. The screen does get him nine, but it also brings up a fourth down. Here's Jamie Gillen now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. A partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. They'll set up to throw. He's got a man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Now whistles and a stoppage here. Looks like one of the Eagles is in some discomfort out there. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. He'll look to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Lawrence Guy able to get in there and drop him for a loss. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Campbell. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, Hurts not coming to the sideline. They're going to go for it. 
Looking to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. And it is a big letdown there defensively. They somehow allow him to convert on fourth and long. They'll set up a throw. Looking for A.J. Brown again, and he's got it again. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. The numbers throwing the ball have been great. He's up over 300 yards now for the game. Facing a second and three. Ball on the 10. Hurts. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Oh, the sneak gets Hurts, and he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. The sneak successful from a yard out, and the Eagles are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Boy, another score. This lead gets even bigger, and Charles, we haven't even hit the fourth quarter yet. Well, forget the deficit, right? They're really not going to cut into that a heck of a lot. But how can they get out of here with some dignity? Can they get a stop or two? Can they make a play on offense themselves? Anything to start to feel better about what's happened to them here in this one. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was capped off by the quarterback sneak for six. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter. We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter, a very one-sided affair. On the counter, it's game well. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain, second down. He'll drop to throw. He'll drop this underneath for game well. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. The Eagles on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and four. It's caught, Smith. And he is going to have an Eagles first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. Hurt sets up to throw it. On the move to his left. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Gainwell gets it on the option. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Only gets a yard, but it's enough to set him up first and goal. Here's Hurts to throw. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. So they get pushed back to the 11. And here's second and goal. Throw right side. Caught by Goddard. The tight end. Touchdown. Dallas Goddard. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Eagles look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary, a clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Elliott good on the extra point, and this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. 
And possession switching back to the New York Giants. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Jones. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it's second down. Throwing Jones. Again, it's Johnson. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Catch made by Slayton. And out of bounds right around the 20. From the 20, here's second and three. They'll look to throw again. Johnson with a completion over the middle. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Offense. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? Looking to throw. Jones under pressure and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. Jones now from the gun on third down. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Darius Slay with a pick. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things, but these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances, and that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. Elliott on for the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. And running with power here. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Giants offense and Daniel Jones set to take over again. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets, and it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. So the completion good for six yards, and that will bring up second down. Operating from the gun, Jones. That's caught, Allen Robinson. First target, first catch, and a first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. 
So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. They'll look to throw now on first down. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Half 18, half 18. Up. Again, he'll drop to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. No gain on the screen there in second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Second and ten. Back to throw again. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. From the gun on third down, Jones. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 31-yard line. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Back to throw, Jones. And he's got it. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Well, a touchdown here on this drive, it wouldn't really put much of a dent in the score, the deficit right now. But as you mentioned in the past, CD, their coach is probably just hoping to see something executed correctly on this drive before we close out the ball game. Yeah, and I think that every guy who's on the field has to feel exactly the same way because if not, they might be looking for a replace. Oh, Jones has just thrown his third interception. And the Eagles are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Another great play defensively. They've been sharp on both sides of the ball, Charles, but that interception means that this defense will very well keep them down to single digits on the scoreboard in this game. And that's certainly something to smile about, isn't it, partner, if you're on defense? Because your goal every game is to pitch a shutout, but you and I both know that's pretty unrealistic. But to hold a team below double figures in a game, in an NFL game, that's certainly something to take pride in. Eagles offense and A.J. Brown headed back out there. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Still first down. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delayed game, offense. Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Still first down.
Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still first down. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game, offense. They were already backed up. Now they're backed up further. I think they were being so careful to make sure all Still assignments were covered that they ended up running themselves out of time. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. Well, they're inching closer and closer here to the wrong goal line. When you're backed up like that, all you're trying to do first is make sure you don't give up a big play, right? You don't miss an assignment that really gets you into more trouble. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game, offense. And they'll accept that penalty. Still first down. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. Still first down. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game, offense. 
And that flag accepted. Still first down. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. Not enough sense of urgency there. Play clock hits zero. Five-yard penalty. Yeah, I like your point Still there. Not down. enough sense of urgency. People walking up to the line of scrimmage. You've got to get up there and get set and be ready to go. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game, offense. So a penalty that can frustrate a coach so much, a mental error, and it'll back him up five yards. Still first down. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. Now flags, and we're going to get a delay of game. Still first down. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game, offense. Play clock all the way to zero, didn't get the snap off, five-yard penalty. And you see the head coach Still writing that down. note on his play sheet right now. He's going to be addressing that with his staff. A sense of urgency, get to the line of scrimmage, snap the ball. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. 
Play clock hit zero. Don't know what went wrong there, Charles, but it's going to cost them five yards. Has to be Still some organization down. from the sideline. Sometimes when you're trying to decide on what play to send in, the play caller has to move a little bit faster. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game, offense. Not enough sense of urgency there. Play clock hits zero, five-yard penalty. Yeah, I like your point Still there. Not enough sense of urgency. People walking up to the line of scrimmage, you got to get up there and get set and be ready to go. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. Flag comes out, and that's because the offense did not get the playoff in time. And you can see the head coach, he Still is not down. happy. Everyone getting away from him right now because he's frustrated that they didn't get the ball snapped in time. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game, offense. Now the play clock hits zero here, and we're going to get a delay. Still first down. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. And they just did not get the snap away in time. Still first down. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game, offense. So a penalty that can frustrate a coach so much, a mental error, and it'll back him up five yards. Still first down.
Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. Play clock all the way to zero. Didn't get the snap off. Five-yard penalty. And you see the head coach Still writing that down. note on his play sheet right now. He's going to be addressing that with his staff. A sense of urgency. Get to the line of scrimmage. Snap the ball. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game, offense. Play clock hit zero. Don't know what went wrong there, Charles, but it's going to cost some five yards. Has to be Still some organization down. from the sideline. Sometimes when you're trying to decide on what play to send in, the play caller has to move a little bit faster. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. Not enough sense of urgency there. Play clock hits zero. Five-yard penalty. Yeah, I like your point Still there. Not enough sense of urgency. People walking up to the line of scrimmage. You've got to get up there and get set and be ready to go. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game, offense. So offense moving a little too slow there, could not get set, and they get the penalty. Still first down. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. So a penalty that can frustrate a coach so much, a mental error, and it'll back him up five yards. Still first down. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game, offense. 
Oh, and a delay of game there. They could not get the playoff in time. Frustrating for the head coach. Still first Frustrating down. for the yeah. offense. Sometimes you have to get the play call in a little bit quicker. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. Play clock down to zero, and that's going to be a delay. Still first down. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game, offense. And they're not going to get this one off in time. It'll be a delay. Still first down. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. Now flags, and we're going to get a delay of game. Still first down. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game, offense. Flag comes out, and that's because the offense did not get the playoff in time. And you can see the head coach, he Still is not down. happy. Everyone getting away from him right now because he's frustrated that they didn't get the ball snapped in time. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. Now the play clock hits zero here, and we're going to get a delay. Still first down.
Play clock down to zero. And this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game. Offense. Play clock all the way to zero. Didn't get the snap off. Five-yard penalty. And you see the head coach Still writing that down. note on his play sheet right now. He's going to be addressing that with his staff. A sense of urgency. Get to the line of scrimmage. Snap the ball. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. And they just did not get the snap away in time. Still first down. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game. Offense. So offense moving a little too slow there, could not get set, and they get the penalty. Still first down. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. Play clock hit zero. Don't know what went wrong there, Charles, but it's going to cost some five yards. Has to be Still some organization down. from the sideline. Sometimes when you're trying to decide on what play to send in, the play caller has to move a little bit faster. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game, offense. Oh, and a delay of game there. They could not get the playoff in time. Frustrating for the head coach. Still first Frustrating down. for the offense. Sometimes you have to get the play call in a little bit quicker. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. 
Play clock down to zero, and that's going to be a delay. Still first down. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game, offense. And they're not going to get this one off in time. It'll be a delay. Still first down. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. Now flags, and we're going to get a delay of game. Still first down. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game, offense. Flag comes out, and that's because the offense did not get the playoff in time. And you can see the head coach, he is not Still happy. First Everyone getting away from him right now because he's frustrated that they didn't get the ball snapped in time. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. Not enough sense of urgency there. Play clock hits zero. Five-yard penalty. Now, I like your point there. Still Not enough down. sense of urgency. People walking up to the line of scrimmage. You've got to get up there and get set and be ready to go.
Play clock down to zero. And this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game. Offense. So a penalty that can frustrate a coach so much, a mental error, and it'll back him up five yards. Still first down. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. Play clock all the way to zero. Didn't get the snap off. Five-yard penalty. And you see the head coach writing Still that note down. on his play sheet right now. He's going to be addressing that with his staff. A sense of urgency. Get to the line of scrimmage. Snap the ball. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game, offense. Now the play clock hits zero here, and we're going to get a delay. Still first down. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. And they just did not get the snap away in time. Still first down. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game, offense. Play clock hit zero. Don't know what went wrong there, Charles, but it's going to cost some five yards. Has to be some organization from the sideline. Sometimes when you're trying to decide on what play to send in, the play caller has to move a little bit faster. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. 
Not enough sense of urgency there. Play clock hits zero, five-yard penalty. Yeah, I like your point there. Still Not enough down. sense of urgency. People walking up to the line of scrimmage, you've got to get up there and get set and be ready to go. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game, offense. So offense moving a little too slow there, could not get set, and they get the penalty. Still first down. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. So a penalty that can frustrate a coach so much, a mental error, and it'll back him up five yards. Still first down. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game, offense. Oh, and a delay of game there. They could not get the playoff in time. Frustrating for the head coach, frustrating for the down. offense. Sometimes you have to get the play call in a little bit quicker. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. Play clock down to zero, and that's going to be a delay. Still first down. Play clock down to zero, and yeah, this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game, offense. 
play clock all the way to zero. Didn't get the snap off. Five-yard penalty. And you see the head coach writing that note down. on his play sheet right now. He's going to be addressing that with his staff. A sense of urgency. Get to the line of scrimmage. Snap the ball. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. Play clock hit zero. Don't know what went wrong there, Charles, but it's going to cost some five yards. Has to be some organization from the sideline. Sometimes when you're trying to decide on what play to send in, the play caller has to move a little bit faster. On the handoff, Gainwell. And he will forge his way forward only up to the two-yard line. Two yards on the pickup. It'll be second down. And he'll stay on the ground with Gainwell again. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Looking for Campbell downfield. And it's knocked away and incomplete. You always think about picking up the first down, but in this case, they were thinking about something bigger. They were thinking about the home run shot and took it downfield. Unable to connect, but admire the effort. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. Looking for a Campbell downfield. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. And they convert in style right there. A big play on fourth and long. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film session.